I'm so glad that I'm free from competitive gaming, bro. <laughs> My brain just doesn't want to do it anymore. Unless I have a monetary reason or like, you know, like the box box thing was a, an event I could compete in. But like back in the day, I used to just solo grind Rocket League Q and I'm just so glad I'm free from the cycle, man. And I think if I ever feel like I'm slipping back, I'll start smoking crack instead because it'll, it's better for you. Isn't Hitman competitive? The competitive grind, I'm talking about a rank. When you have a rank, it fucks up your brain, dude. It's way too much feeling of achievement for not actually doing anything. Yeah, I'd probably say that's Hitman's biggest weakness, is there's just so much to learn that isn't available from anybody but people who have played the game. Okay, maybe if she hadn't skipped the tutorial, oh mega lol. <laughs> you can find all your type A chatters. Oh, is the type A chatter? Hey, by the way, Aspectacore, I noticed you could shave 0.75 seconds off your run by optimizing your pathing around this corner. And then a type B chatter is like spamming gauge in the chat if I bring up like like the male gaze. I'm a type C chatter, which is a cuckold. Can a woman be a cuckold? Like what if your wife was the cuckold? What would you call her? A cuck queen? I almost said like a chicken. You know, they call women cougars. So I was going for an animal, but I don't know why my brain said chicken. You're a cluckold. <laughs> so stupid. Why do we call women cougars anyways? You know, where did that come from? Cause they're on the prowl. Okay. It's working for me. Cause cougars are the hottest animal. All right. <laughs> the best chatters are the ones who don't chat and give subs every month. I don't want to give priority to anybody just because they spend money on the stream. But like, yes, you're also right. Obviously, if you're a prime, you're my best friend. You're coming to my birthday party this year. Me, you, Ludwig. What about people who sub without prime? Listen, you guys are really making me de delineate the class system of this stream. And I just think we all have something to bring to the table. Except for the people watching ads right now. They can't see this, okay? They can't see that I'm saying, fuck the non-subs. Fuck the non-subs, okay? We don't need- Reach for my neck. You'll get oh shit, the ads don't go example. on for another 10 minutes. Oh, yeah. listen guys. No, guys, I was kidding. Guys, wait. I've never received this many minus two emotes in my life. Everyone get your last minus two in. I shouldn't have given you guys the minus two emote. Wait, what am I doing? I'm stupid. I should just delete the minus two emote and replace it with a different plus two. I caught a massive raid and then I said a word from Ninjago or Bionicle or something and everybody immediately capital D colon me and was like, what the fuck? You can't say that. And I was like, oh, I didn't know what I had just said. Like I hadn't just watched the seven hour Bionicle lore video. So I genuinely thought I dropped a slur and I was like, fuck dude but then it turned out it was just a bionicle term don't say average slur spectacle listen i know i play a shooter as my main game but i've actually dropped very few wait no none other than in the context of speaking about being called them okay but i was trying to be technically correct and then i realized what i was saying <laughs> okay hold on wait a minute no, no 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 let me clarify Okay, that was also the worst. When chat said to me that my ball slipped. Is that what you guys said? You said something about your ball was out. Ball out scared the shit out of me. Because I had been sleeping on stream too, I think, right? Like, I think it might have been subathon time. So I was like, fuck, dude, ball might have been out. Could have been doing anything. Doug Doug did once shout me out in one of his videos. I mean, I also met him. I feel like that's definitely the cooler experience I had with him. I sat with him at the stream rewards. Like, I was at his table. And he was really nice. And then you know what the motherfucker did? He responded to my tweet of me being in LA and ratioed me with a friendly post saying like, it was really nice to meet you. And I was like, you son of a bitch. You could collab with anyone you wanted. Who would you pick? I'd really have to think about it. I guess it's a tough question. Cause like my gut answer is I've been watching Northern Lion nonstop basically every free moment that I get for like the past four months. So I would say him, but like people you like to watch might not necessarily be the people you would be a good collab with, you know? Would you collab with me? <laughs> I don't know, no. <laughs> Just cause if anybody asked me that in chat, they mean collab with me in the fuck a fan contest. Like that's what was coming second after that. Spark, I saw you in Moon Moon's chat the other day. I was like spotted. And I was like, damn dude, I'm straight up a detective because that chat moves fast. Like, isn't it crazy? My chat actually moves pretty fast for how big of a streamer I am. Not to like, you know, toot my own horn, but I think it's like really cool actually.
We just love minus twoing you. Somebody has to tell jokes. Okay. Yeah, it's not an open mic chat. I can't do 12 p.m. stream tomorrow because I have a doctor's appointment. How much does that suck? So I might just stay at home and then try and just call my doctor and be like, hey doc, uh, sorry I couldn't make it. I had to queue up for GTA RP servers. Yeah, sorry doc, I had to queue up for the RP servers. You know how it is. They might have you committed. <laughs> Andrew, did you just say you were doing your full-time job streaming? Nurse, we gotta get somebody out there immediately. He's off, he's off his rocker. Yeah, no, tell me about the tell me about the GTA RPQ. Uh-huh. Greg is his name? Yeah? Oh, did I tell you guys I got a comment the other day from someone who was like, I used to love your hitman content. Till I saw that you put the pronouns below the person's name. I looked at the part he was talking about. Motherfucker is triggered over the speedrun.com custom pronouns that you can add to your own profile. I was like, whoa, dude. That's like, you're like a next level loser. Can you imagine how he's gonna feel when he gets to the end of the one video? And I'm like, so to all the guys, gals, and NBs watching this video, he's gonna blow a gasket, dude. Of course. Purchased the buy flag due a misunderstanding. He thought it was a buy yourself flag. So stupid. <laughs> I still can't believe that Victor Wembayama is like 20 or 19. That's actually just so crazy to me, what? dude. There's been lots of really tall basketball players. Like, dude, Yao Ming. Yao Ming was crazy fucking tall. But he looked like a praying mantis when he moved. Like, you saw his height. I'm sure he's a fantastic athlete. He still had a he still had a shot. But, like, he looked like a really tall guy. When he, whereas when you watch, like, Victor play, he just looks like a guy. You do really have to wonder, too, like... Can you imagine if Victor Wembayama didn't make it in basketball? What do you do if you're that tall? Do you just like automatically start trying to play another sport or do you just give up and start stocking the high shelf at the grocery store? Or alternatively, OnlyFans? I mean, I guess there would be a market. Do you think there's like a sumo wrestler out there with an OnlyFans who's done exceptionally well? Oh yeah, isn't there a website that tells you how many five-year-olds you could beat in a fight? I mean, it, it's a theoretical, for sure. I feel like a better question is like, how many chickens do you think you could take in a fight? Like not big chickens, just regular old chicken. Like a hundred? A hundred chickens that aren't a hive mind, but all individually want to fuck you up. How many family guy sized chickens could you take? Bro, the family guy sized chicken is like Peter's height. I think the family guy sized chicken would kill almost anybody. That shit would be like a velociraptor. What are my thoughts about the stripped down version of Fortnite? That was like a uh, number three on the list of games people are jerking it to. Is that what we're talking about? Did you guys not see that list? It was like top 10 most searched games on like porn websites. And then number three was Call of Duty. Who the fuck is zerking their shit to ghost? Is uh, Captain McGregor just like a real masculine force to you? Wait, true. It's just people straight up watching Call of Duty on those porn sites just because they're using it for their like video upload functionality. Lego Fortnite is a cool idea. I still don't really get what it is. And I think this is what's made me realize that I am truly in my mid 20s and am old. It's not only that I'm going to be 25 in like 10 days, but it's also that I looked at Lego Fortnite and I said, I don't know what this is. And then I didn't investigate further. I was like, okay, I guess I just don't know. Have you seen Matt Pat's videos? The one where he says, these are the best boobs in gaming. But also the one where he says he's gonna retire. Yeah, everybody's quitting YouTube, which I'm like, that makes sense. If you've been doing it for 13 years, you've made so much fucking money. You're like, I'm out, bro. There's a lot of young, hungry, hungry dogs on the come up like me. He did a real video on how long Luigi's hog is. What's uh, what's like the exact name of that video? Just so I know how to avoid it. I don't know. Luigi was back in. <laughs> I thought you were about to make an Abraham Isaac joke. My ass found out about Jonah and the whale in the year 2021. I don't know who the fuck Abraham or Isaac is. The only reason I know who Isaac is is because I've watched Northern Lion play 10,000 hours of that game. Abraham is Isaac's dad. He was never, he was going to sacrifice him until God's like JK. Dude, God kind of a flake. No disrespect, but like, where's the follow through, man? God's like, yo, dude, you're definitely going to have to kill your first son. And the guy's like, no, I don't want to. And he's like, yeah, you got to do it, man. You got to do it. And then he's like, okay. And he's like, what the dude? I, what, you didn't actually have to do it. You fucking idiot. Look at the cameras, dude. 